Welcome back guys. Today we are going to tackle the batteries here and I will show you guys how I mount the Batrium system onto them. I will also show you guys a custom made holder for the Batrium long mounts. So basically what I do is just make sure that the voltages are alright for the battery. A quick voltage check is all that it takes to just make sure that you are good to go. So what we have here is a 4 cell pack. 1, 2, 3 and 4 cells. So that means we will need 4 long mounts. My plan is to mount the long mounts on this side here because the packs will be standing up. And to do this I want some kind of a neat holder for it. So basically I did come up with this here. The holder in question is rather a simple design and it's just about clipping the long mons into place. So if we take a long mon here, you just take the long mon, just gently try it to one side and then let's see if I can do this. Put it into place. So it's just a matter of a press fit in the holes of the long mons on the side. It may be that you have a little bit too much epoxy here and then you just have to take the knife and just gently shave that away. Uh, out of the long ones I got lastly I don't I think one out of four have a tiny bit too much um, of this epoxy to actually get it working. But when that's done, you can just put it into place. And there you go. The design is not bulletproof, it's just a simple concept that I made. And as you can see, the back side have these ventilation holes both underneath and in the middle to keep them somewhat ventilated. So let's make the brackets, the printer is turned on, we start the Cura, Ultimate it to Cura and I'm actually controlling it from the computer. And no, I can't do screen capture from this computer so I have to do it like this. I have the design here, import it. Uh, I need to turn this the right way around. So I'm basically rotating it and laying it down on the base. Uh, I'm going to print it there. Uh, I'm going to use low quality and the infill density I want to be let's say 50% and I only need one lap around. When that's done I print via the USB and I start it up. The system is now heating everything up and it starts by heating the bed up and then it will heat up the extruder and then the print will start. On the battery itself my plan is to just mount them like this and there is nothing special about the mounting here uh, I'm just going to keep them as simple as possible and use double sided tape for this and I need to put it on the plane surface as much as possible and this one here is a little bit further in than this one so I'm actually going to mount on that one there and as said I'm going to use the double sided tape so the double sided tape I use is just normal and you may say that you could double sided tape it, the long mounts directly to the cells. But the long mounts tend to get rather hot when balancing up to 70 degrees and the double sided tape tend to loosen up. So for not heating up the cells and for actually getting something in between I added tape to the long mounts instead. It's a little bit easier. Uh, when soldering always make sure that do not have it connected to long mounts. Uh, I'm preparing the cables and I'm making sure that all the wires for the balancing are the same length. Preparing them by just some solder on the ends. 
it's a little bit easier to work with. And then I bring up the big iron for making sure that I get contact to the copper plates that are connected to the cells. Uh, I don't want to heat it more than necessary, so the big iron does the job very, very quickly. If you want anything of the stuff that I have been using here, check out the links down in the description. You can always check out the links on my webpage if you want. All the long ones are now hooked up, so it's time to tidy this up a little bit. It's just very, very simple. I'm using some straps for this, uh, just to make sure that I keep themselves together. It shouldn't be that fancy and it will work on what it's intended to. I do recommend that you do test the long months and everything before you do this. Uh, in my case, I have tested long months so they are ready to go. And now we are almost done. And I think we are ready. So basically guys, this is how simple I want to make it. Uh, I know this is not OCD compliant, it should be sleet and everything. But this will not be visible. I mean, it will be in some degree, but I will not be looking at this more, more than like three times a year at most. So... It's better that it is functional than it is beauty in that sense. So I hope this is, was somewhat interesting. I have three more of these chunks to do and then I need to wire them up in parallel as well. But currently I think this is perfectly fine. And the next battery can of course be tied to the next one like that and the next one here to that one. And the length will be fine. All the battery packs will be tied together with this uh, here. Uh, with the M6 screws, so that should be fine as well. So once again guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you want the STL file for the holder, they can be found down below. Uh, it's just a quick draw up that I have done, it's not perfect in any way, but it do work for this purpose. So once again guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye.